Hello! In this short tutorial, we're going to be looking at how to create a fancy circle. Now, if we refresh, uh, we'll see that we have something that looks good. However, let us come to our HTML and see what we have. Now, looking at this, we have just the tag. Okay, so we have the div tag that just have hi. I want to be fancy. Okay, let's save it and come to refresh. You can see you have something very small here and doesn't look nice. Now let's try and make it fancy. Now to make it fancy, I have a CSS in the header. Now we just need to make some declaration. Now we need to just call the, the class here. So I'm just going to say period and have the fancy. Fancy circle, and I'm going to make my declaration. Now, the first thing we want to do test align, and we're going to make it align of center. Okay, so since we have our test align center, we can even refresh. And see what we have you can see that the test is in the middle okay so the next is let's see a padding and we're going to give the padding padding of 2m we're going to give border the border is going to be a bit thick we're going to give it 0.5m we want it to be solid then let's give it we need to use the pound sign there okay then we're going to reference x decimal value which is 838 then f let's go check what we have you can see that we have border now okay we're getting there now, what can we do again? We can declare color. You can see that the color is black. Let's make the color the same value as well. So I'm just gonna say color. And give this very value. Then we can say the width. The width can be 4M. We can say the height as well. The height can be 4M. Then we can say the font size. Font size. And we can give the font size, let's say, the value of 2M as well. Now let's see what we have. Wow. It's looking nicer now this the width and height is what we use to achieve the perfect shape okay then we use the font size of course to increase the font size as well now let's see what we can do let's give it border radius what we need to achieve right now is a perfect circle so we can use the border radius to do that border radius then we give it the value of 100 percent now this is going to make it round if you give it 50 percent let's try out 50 percent let's see what we have i don't think i saved that okay 50 percent still look nicer let's say 20 percent yeah, this is what I'm trying to achieve. You can see, so you can always try it out. We just go ahead and give it 100% and we have that. Okay, cool. So the next thing we want to achieve right now is making it to the middle. Like how can we center it to the middle? And let's see how we can achieve that right now. Now to make it center, um, we need to use flex. 
Now, in your own scenario, you might not want to make it center, you might want to make it sit somewhere. It all depends. But our goal right now is to make it come here. And for us to do that, we can use the display. Display of flex. Then, if we save it, nothing happened yet, but we can control it with our margin. We have margin, margin. Then, we're going to use 33 view edge. That's the viewport. Let's see what we have. Even when we refresh, you can see it's not perfect yet. So we can then say we want auto. So this 33 VH is for the top. We want it for the top. It could be pixel, it could be percentage. You can try so many of those value. So right auto. I think we need to remove this. Auto, bottom auto, left auto as well. All right, makes sense. So you can see now that it is centered. Now you can try to tweak any of this value to see the behavior just to achieve all you want. And that's how we wrap it up on this one. If you like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on all our social media handles so that you can be notified every time we release a new tip. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.